So I'm so thrilled, guys. I am here today with Barut. Barut. And Barut is from Turkey, and she is living kind of the life because she's from Sweden, Switzerland or Sweden originally? Lithuania. Lithuania, Lithuania. And you've lived in the United States, and you've moved to Turkey because of the cost of living is so low there. And she's living on, on the beach. I mean, it's... and. The cool thing is blogging can pay the bills, especially if you're willing to move yourself to a low cost area. So for me, Barut's like the, I don't know, it's just really exciting. If I could pack up my kids, if I had my, if my husband was somebody who would pack up the kids and move to a beach town that was cheap, I would do it in a heartbeat just like Barut did. I so admire her. So she's here and um, yeah, sorry, did I misrepresent any of that? No, can I add something? Actually, and the the I you know I start blogging, but the Facebook video that I did I think two three years ago that went viral, that's the like it was the change for me like on income and on seriousness of the business. The Facebook video that was like everything. Which one was your video that went viral? The first, that one that made that big change. The family games. Family games. I remember that. I remember viral yeah. funneling that with you. It was, I had 4,000 likes on my page that I was like dead. It was like two years it took me to get 4,000. It was like going nowhere. And I posted that video and within like three days, it went 50,000 likes. Yes. Like in three days. It was so exciting days. watching you and explode then, then. And then from there, I knew my um, ideal viewer. I knew what to post, how to post. Like they like videos, they like family videos. And then from there, it's like got so much easier. Yeah, and now you've even sold a course on it now, so a course on family games. So, yeah, so it's really fun to see it. Yeah. And the video, and the video did a big part of my uh, launching and marketing and everything because without video, I, I, I just don't know how to market things without video. I just saw something. I have to make a video about it. Yeah, uh, well, because... you're so good at videos, though. So earlier today, we were talking to her, and she said she's had – one video get to 5 million. I'm like, Barut, that's not true because I know you've made two of my videos go to over 5 million, at least two. I haven't like gone through my list to see which ones she's made. So she's made at least two. So, and she's made videos for other people in that stage where she was beginning um, in video creation. You did videos for a lot of other bloggers and a lot of those videos went insane, did insanely well. So she's definitely a source of someone to go to for how to make a viral um, Facebook video because she's and then, then how also to make money off of that viral Facebook video because she's done it time and time again and uh, yeah and she lives in like along the sea and I was just like oh this is so cool <laughs> and her you husband have to come, you have to come visit me I know I want to I totally want to you have no clue how much I want to um, but yeah so tell us like if we had five rules we had to follow to make our videos do well on Facebook, like how long they should be, where they should, what are those five rules that you would tell us? Okay. Um, I don't like to brag, but since we're talking about the videos and the importance of it, I have a very vital video happening right now. I posted it. Yes. I posted it like less than two hours ago. It has like uh, over 5,000 views. It has 300 shares. It's like, it's going. I hope it's not going to flatten out. But so I have those rules for viral, but there's no like, it's not going to happen 100% for you. You always have to. The best rule is just make videos. Make a lot of videos. <laughs> no, really. You know, you'll, make, you'll make 10 videos, you'll get one viral. But you make two videos, you have less chance to make a viral, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just have to make videos and then every video I make, I'm like, oh, this is going to be viral, but it doesn't happen every time. But yeah. so two rules that I follow and it helps me sometimes have a viral. Okay. The length of the video should be uh, between one to two minutes. Like don't get too close to two minutes, only a minute and a half, something like that for me, for my audience. Okay. Um, okay. What else? It has to be. A story on the video as well whether for me it's family game so it's kind of easy to have that story but let's say if you're selling a product you have to really get into the pain of the product will solve for you or the solution that you have 
and you know that's and that will create the whole story and think about it very well before you shoot the video like write a script even if it's like a you know even if it's 30 second video you have to write a script for it okay um, you say you know like you think I always think about okay that shot I'm gonna have from that angle and then I'm gonna have that and then I'm gonna have like me like this so I can post a cute texts here come up you know like for the beginning and stuff like think about every single thing before you shoot so how many different angles do you tend to use you since don't just shoot from one angle do you no since i shoot like with kids it's kind of like it has to go spontaneously a lot of times you know but i try to do like if it's like you know with the, some kind of like a printable of paper so you always have to do overshot and then the kids reaction you always have to have a close up kids reaction um cool okay so multiple so that makes some dynamic to it add some dynamic energy to it and that goes to another rule you have to in the video the shots has to change every three second otherwise uh, the viewers on facebook are so impatient you know that so they're just gonna stop watching it you have to like change shots you can come back to the same shot but it has to be like bum 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 like that three four seconds maximum Okay. Wow. That's fast. For me, for me, you know, like yeah. activities. Um, but you know, unless it's like some kind of like a very informational video or something, but for fast things, it has to be fast. Okay. So your rule so far, were make lots of videos, keep it one to two minutes or 90 seconds. Make sure you have a story and change your thoughts every three seconds. What else? Okay. You have to have a, a good thumbnail too for the video I think thumbnail cover a custom thumbnail yes yes it's um sometimes you can just scroll there when you upload and see maybe a, a good one to find but I always go to PicMonkey or any other editor a photo editor uh, program and I just take a screenshot of one of the video things and then uh, the size for it I use 470 by 264 for the video thumbnail two. 470 uh, by 264. Okay. So there's your notes, guys. Yes. Yeah. And I do a little bit of text. So 20% rule, you still follow that on your cover? Okay. Yes. And so it won't look too cluttered, but it will still be like a quick, so people yeah. can catch, catch on fast. Now, I've heard that sponsored content if they're doing that handshake tool, you can't have a card with words on it. Have you um, heard that? Have you had that proved or not? No, I don't know. That okay, about that. cool. So, okay. So those are the five rules. Do you have any other tips for us with that one? Or should we move on to the next part? Because guys, um, she's going to show us how to make a cover photo, cover video. Um, and then she's also going to show us how to make a GIF. And then if she has time, even how to maybe edit some videos to put words in them, which is really fun too. Yay. You know, I'm oh. so excited. <laughs> Another thing, I'm, like don't over, like filming, yes, it's important. Coming up with the story and everything. I think editing is very important as well. You don't have to have like a killer edit editor skills. No, but then you still have to like edit well and add it, the, the text where it needs to be and arrange the shots. So you have to play around with editing not just dump every shot you have. You have to like, it's so hard sometimes like, oh, I just love this shot so much, but if it doesn't make sense, don't put it. Yeah. Just, you, know, you have to like also consider the, you know, the editing things as well. Now, for the good video. Jackie asks, what editing tools do you use? Okay. Um, I use, and I am totally in love with Filmora. I started using, I think like six months ago or something. It's really great 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 tool for beginners and i would say for like semi semi professionals it's very customizable it's just drop and do this and it's the thing is really very easy and and it's like awesome. 50 bucks so 50, at least yeah. and and that was for a lifetime access so my guess is you guys got to get it soon because there's like no video software does lifetime access for 50 bucks <laughs> and they have like filters. There's some free ones, and then you can, if you want to get extra, they have like cool, um, what are they called? Animations that you can add. Like, mm -hmm. I used them from my course recently, and they just added so much like sharpness to it. And, um, it's just awesome. I love it. And a I lot of energy. Cool. It had a lot of energy because of the editing tricks that Filmora has um, 
Yeah. Cool. Okay. So do you want to, sh- if we have time at the end, we'll show people how Filmora works, but let's okay. start with, huh? I can show you a few things there later. Yeah. If you okay. have time. Let's start with cover photo, cover video, because I have a video I would love to have as a cover video. And I just literally just want somebody to walk me through the steps to do it. So, okay. um, tell me, Obi-Wan. <laughs> This was my last week's project and I was just so excited and I went there to my Facebook and I'm like, clicked on the side and I'm like, upload video. There's no upload video yet for me. I, and I assume it's not for many yet. That feature didn't come out for many yet. There's for some. Do you have that feature? Um, let me check really fast. Um, you know, when you upload the I just photo. assumed I did. I, <laughs> I, I did as well, but I didn't have that feature yet. It just didn't come out to me yet. I'm pulling up Crock-Pot Girls, and I do have the chance for video on Crock-Pot. I'm pulling up um, the One Crazy House to see if I have it on that. Now, you said there's a hack, though. So even if I don't have it, One Crazy House does not have video edit. I don't have that ability on that one. And then the other page. It's very simple. The hack is very simple. You have to go to a page called Narcos. Marcos, okay. Marcos. Marcos. Marcos? Um, Narcos. N-A-C-R-O-S. Okay. Narcos. Okay, got it. They have the video um, video cover. Do you see? On Facebook? Yeah. Uh, can you, sh- you know what? At the bottom of your screen, there's a share screen. That way I can make sure we're seeing the same thing. Okay. It's a green, go on the Zoom, the Zoom one, and then the bottom, it's to have a share screen. Are you able to share screen? You should be able to. Uh, yes. Good. Let me go. Okay, let okay we see your family see. reunion games. Okay. Oh, okay. Do you see Facebook now? I see it's got the time of day in Ayan province. So in case you have lots of windows. There we go. Okay, Narcos. Okay, I want it's like delaying for me for some reason. Okay. Okay, here we go, Narcos. Okay, and then their cover is a video cover. Uh huh. Pretty cool one. And you just have to like kind of click on it, you know, to like engage. And then somehow like Facebook automatically like assumes that, I don't know, it just throws you off. And then you go back to your page. And then you might have to like. Oh, this is one of those secret access points. Okay. No, Facebook has these for like developers, okay? Where they give people access to something if they've engaged. Okay. And I've only heard of this, okay? I've only heard from other people. I actually got to do one now. Get in the back way. It's so cool that you found one. Now, who told you about this back door? Um, I like. You Goose found it? Around. Okay. You got to give me in on your contact that gives you this, like, here's the back door. Because that's so cool. I love these back doors. Facebook has a couple of them. Okay. Yeah. And then if you don't have it right away, like, you can change, like, admins um, between, you know, like, on the other pages that you are. I, I, I have it. Refresh. Okay. No, no. Yep. I did not have cover fo- ability on One Crazy House before going to Narcos. Okay. Nacros, okay. whatever. Okay. Baruch showed us the back door. Um, <laughs> I go in there, I clicked on that video. I now have the ability to change my cover on one crazy house. So thank you for it. That's hilarious. I, I got to do one of the back doors guys. This is like a new, okay, thanks. I will get off my, okay, my cheerleader thing. Uh, as you see the, the, you know, the sizing of the, 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 the cover video is also different than the regular video. So we'll have to crop that out. And I do that also with Filmora. Okay. Uh, do you, I can show it later. And then Actually, do you want to just show us now? Would that be okay? Like, how, like your, the editing system for p- p- uploading the video, like the whole process. Like, what would I do? Okay. okay, let me. Which video are we doing? Okay, let me just grab this one here. Okay, it's just the random video I was working on. Um, okay. Early. Okay, you uh, get your video on. 
uh, imported into the Filmora program. Okay. So we should probably open up Filmora um, on your yes. screen. We're in a different screen now. Oh, it's not open yet? Uh, yeah. Well, what you want to do is unshare and then share again and pick that window. Okay. Thanks, guys, for being working with us as we figure this out. This is so fun. Okay. Am I on yet? It's starting to screen share. There we go. Woohoo! <laughs> All right, um, so you like you import the video from uh -huh. here, you have to pick, or you just drop, you can just drop on your timeline. Cool. Um, and then you click on it, or you can do whatever you want. And here there's the crop tool. And then you click on manually, and then uh -huh. the size for the video cover is, I do, one six sixteen forty by six twenty four, and you press enter. You see, it crops out for you like that. Okay, cool. And then you just click OK, and then you export it. And then actually, here at the export, you can also change the resolution. resolution. Yeah, times six twenty four. And you have it and you can or you can add uh you can add words to it you can add music to it show us, show us the adding words because that was what sold me on filmora because i used to have camtasia and i used premiere and then when i saw and i've actually some of my staff were even using i pro or some, or like key whatever um and this literally is as easy as those like word canva and font candy and those word ones where you just type in the words and you move it around the screen it was so easy i was like oh my word this took like three seconds before it was taking 20 minutes so show us how easy it is to do words on this okay it, um so here you have like media music text transitions filters overlays elements on screen export so you choose um, text and there's like, look, look at it. It's just so hard to choose which one to choose from, right? Yeah. Um, and you can actually customize every, each of them like a lot, like a lot, you know, let's say this one doesn't match here, but let me just put it and you just click on it. And then, um, so, and you, and you have that already. Let me just turn it up. So yeah. You have like, the, the, let's say this could be a good for beginning of the video, you know, um, balloon, go to balloon fight. And you can edit right there on that and I'll change that. If you don't like this triangle thingy here, you can go in advanced. You can see like here it says square. You can delete that or you can change its color or you can change the way it appears. Like there's animation. You click on animation. You can have it like faded out or come in from left or right. The same is with words. You can have animation. You can like, you want that, let's see, come in like this or like that. It's, yeah. it's really like a lot of things you can do. And it automatically does it for you. So literally you can come up with your same settings and you can crank them out so fast. And somebody said, explain to me Nacros and what that means as a backdoor. Um, what, just so you guys understand what a backdoor means is there's different places in Facebook that Facebook hides things to put you into beta tracks. So let's say you don't have access to changing your cover right now, but you're a developer in Facebook and you're playing around, so you need to be able to change covers on different sites. So they gave, for you to enter that beta group, you go to this page and you click on this and then it's the backdoor into that beta program. And so um, Barut found one of the backdoors so that way you can access video, on, change the function to change the video on your screen, even if you don't have it yet. So my page, One Crazy House, did not have the ability for us to change its cover video yet. I had not, that hadn't rolled out to me yet. It had on some of my other pages, but not on One Crazy House. And so when I go to Nacros, that Facebook page, and I clicked on their cover video, that entered me into that beta. So now all of the pages I'm an admin of now have the ability to have um, cover videos on them. So that switched me into that beta stream. So finding out those back doors is really, really kind of cool. So I'm gonna totally see if there's a, in, I, in the, there are like clubs of the Facebook geeks. Um, I'm in a paid group and we do love to share when we find back doors. So hopefully Baruts can give me in on where she got her, uh, her back door knowledge. <laughs>
it, they're usually highly guarded secrets. So, um, oh. <laughs> yes, that's really kind of cool. So hopefully that explains how the back door works. Um, and so there's different ways to get into betas and there's different betas all the time. So that's why some people have a different view of Facebook than other people. Um, I have to uh, mention one thing though. When I did that and I uploaded the video, it just showed me uh, basically I just was still shot a picture and it didn't play as a video for two days for me. So be patient. And then two days later, like, whoa, it stopped playing. Cool. So we have, yeah, so don't be alarmed if it doesn't play right away. So just wait, okay. don't delete it, wait. Okay, the beta program is, is still a beta. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, no, it comes with glitches. Okay, good to know. <laughs> this is so fun, I love it, okay. <laughs> Hope you guys don't mind me all being all geeky on, on Bird here. So uh, this is like my like, uh, a high point of the week when I found that out. I was like, oh my God, this is the best thing ever. <laughs> it's so cool. And I, knew, and I knew you would love this as well. Oh yeah. <laughs> I love all those. I, I just, I don't know. I feel like I'm, I, I'm like in the in crowd when I learn them. So I, I know they're like going to be disappear in like three weeks because that beta went over and they move a different door, but it's still kind of fun for the second when you discover them as a, as a fake one. Facebook geeks. So. Okay, um, let's see if we have any other questions real fast. Um, Camtasia 9 is awesome. The only issue with Camtasia is you don't have all these filters. So I can't say, I want Textile 10. And I set Textile 10 to be Century Gothic, which is mine, with a shadow of 70% black. And then every time I want to write, it automatically does Balloon Fight in this certain layout with that textile. So, and then I can even set, share this, that, 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 like that, here's this text that I want you guys to use with staff. So I have, whoops, I just hit my mic. Um, I have a staff person that's helping me with my videos now. All I had to do is make one type of profile of it, of this is what it needs to look like, and he can crank out four or five an hour now. So whereas before it was taking hours to do each one, it's so much faster with Filmora. I'm so thankful for Barut. Um, she wasn't the first one to tell me about Filmora, but she was the one who said, no, stop. You have yeah. to use Filmora. I know you say you love this, and I know you say you love this. Stop. Go do the Filmora. So thank you, Barut, because I was on Camtasia, and I was on um, Premiere. Those were the two that I had used previously, and I am now in love with Filmora. I still use Premiere for editing um, this, this. When you're making lots of clips, and you're like layering like 15 videos and you're, you know. You can do that on Filmora as well. I was having problems with it. Show me what I would, okay. You guys don't mind if she shows me really fast. Um, show me really fast, I'll do it. <laughs> okay, so this is, uh, this is your, uh, your video, the first line of the video. Okay. And then you go to media and then if you want to drop uh, more videos, you just go drop under. I mean, is that what you're talking about? And then you like edit them together and stuff. Like you want, you mean like on top of each other? Well, you know how like they transition into each other. Transition. Oh, you just have to do transitions then. Uh, look, I put two, three clips together. Okay. And then there's transitions here. See, transitions. Uh -huh. And then you just choose uh, which one was it? You said you want one from another. Look, oh, there's just one. one. Just, yeah, let's do that one. Dissolve is nice. Okay. Uh, let's see. Hold on. See, it happened that, and then, oh, it's not what you're talking about. Yeah, that's it. Okay. I mean, there's a lot, and you can, you can, um, you so can it's make just that. as fast in Filmora. Yes, you can look, you can make that longer, the, 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 the transition here. I feel oh. like it's, it's very long now. It's too long, but it still, it does the job. Yeah. And then look, you can do like, you can go in there and then you can select your time here you want and then apply it to all and then you can do. Oh, so that could potentially even be faster. I love it. Okay. And there's a lot of them. You can just really, I mean. Awesome. Like, yeah, I just, I, I spent too much time on it. Okay. I, just, I, I love it. I love it. No, no, no. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is so cool. This is awesome. Um, so yeah, so I, now Barut, you did give me one word of warning with Filmora and that was what about the music? Okay, so be alarmed, yes, the music, uh, you can't use their music to monetize your videos. So yes, it's not so they music. say you can use their music, but you get those Facebook alerts. So use a different source for music pretty much because they, they, uh, they don't, they may not have the highest standards when it comes to picking the music that they're allowed to use. <laughs> 
and, and there's not like not even a lot of maybe they will add in the future there's not like a lot of music here here's like you know okay 10. now the cool thing is you can have sound you can be a silent video so silent most people watch their videos silent so that's not going to super affect you if you don't use the music on this one um yeah, but i i still go to youtube and i i uh, use their their music because i you know it says where which one is good for commercial we use which one i have to attribute um i still use that <laughs> Good. I use audio blocks. That's because I bought a thing with audio blocks. So um, that's how I've done my videos. So, okay. This is so cool. Okay. Now I'm going to go back and see if there's any questions. What source do you recommend for using your music? I use audio blocks and Barut says she uses YouTube's free version. So it depends on your budget as to what is better for you. Um, some people use Ben's source five. That's another free one, but it, I think the sounds get a little like everybody's using it. Um, yeah. But um, for me, I use audio blocks and I, I pay for that one every year, a subscription. For audio blocks is really awesome. And I'm planning on getting that, but if you don't want to spend any money, really YouTube is awesome. And I haven't, I think I haven't had a video that would Facebook say you can't upload this because of the copyright issues or anything. And I have with audio blocks, but very, very rarely. So you do still have issues occasionally because sometimes I can claim um, an audio a video so, for it. So, and Filmora is on sale right now for fifty nine ninety nine. I know, and it's a lifetime, which is like I, I don't know if you guys understand. That's like insanely cheap for software. So, and I'm trying, and I'm not an affiliate for them. I, I did look up to see if I could be an affiliate. Um, so I, they, yeah. So I would suggest getting it. <laughs> you know, you the, the, the Final Cut or the Adobe, you know, the whole thing is like twenty thirty bucks a month. Uh huh. And, and yeah, no, I'm paying more than that right now in software for my other video stuff. So for sure. Okay. So, so this is how to edit videos, how to edit the cover photo. And you showed us the back door if we don't have the cover photo yet. Next on our list, and this are the video transitions, the video words. Oh, oh, I think you were going to tell us something about why words are important. Or you were going to say how words change your videos. Because your videos sell a lot on Facebook because you have words on them. Okay, well, uh, let me stop the share and then I will show you my current video. She's got a viral right now. It's so exciting. It started like a couple hours ago, last yesterday. Um, yeah, just, no, I just uploaded a couple hours ago, so. And it's already going everywhere. I love it. Okay, hold on. Where is, sorry, I'm kind of slow with this. <laughs> You're fine. I'm just so thrilled. Barut's like been one of my, my friends, blogging friends for years. So it's really fun to get to talk to her. Okay, so here is my, uh, let me make it, do you see already? Uh-huh. Okay, make it maybe bigger, I don't know. Uh, so here's the, you know, like I always try to make an intro, um, intro text on a video. Okay. But again, the first shot is like not even three seconds, so you have to be quick. Yes. And then, because I do a lot of like roundups of the games and activities and stuff i tried i always try to have to name the activities and just i think because they know game one so they will be game two game three and game four and game, game five so i have something some kind of text on the video all the time in case they like skip through the video and then they come to like second you know 23 seconds and then so they always know there will be something else coming up okay good and, okay most, most importantly, I put text because, you know, nobody really watches videos on Facebook with sound on. So when, you know, they have to read things. So that's really important um, to have video that's for that reason as well. And keep the engagement. Oh, fun. And you know what? Okay, another thing for the videos I could say, uh, this is the video from last year. I made it exactly like one year ago. That's when I went to visit my family. <laughs> And I made them film the video. Um, <laughs> Yay for the life of a blogger. <laughs> hey guys, film no, no. my eyes, my blogging session. No, I've totally, I've done this a hundred times. You're good. I'm just laughing. Yeah. <laughs> We've all done so, it. <laughs> uh, I had that video do okay last year, but then this year, you know, like I've learned more things and stuff. So I just actually three hours ago, I sat down and I'm like, let me make a video. So I found two extra shots of the game that I didn't include. So I put them in the beginning and I added the other ones. I changed the text layouts, you know, the things. And it's like a totally new video and then it's going amazing engagement right now. I love it. I love it. I love it. And that's one thing too, like she was saying, you can have more than one version of the videos. 
So you don't, yeah. it's not like you're stuck with one version forever. You can have five different versions of your video and they could all do just as well. So, um, yeah, I had that, I had that happen with my last uh, launch on my, um, summer camp course. Yes. I had a long video, like a long roundup, not a long, it was still like a minute and a half roundup of activities. And then I posted that video and then I cut that video in three as long as you have the beginning different of the video the first uh, I believe like the first 10 seconds different uh, Facebook will count that video as different oh smart so first 10 seconds seconds must be different yes and then I just cut that video a little in three parts and uh, it was like another three more content pieces I had and they were, yes, they were shorter, but they did actually, one of them, the short one was, uh, it did really, really well. So that's really cool. So my, uh, cause I have virals, what you're saying is when they're a viral roundup, um, my example, the one you made for me, five baby hacks. Okay. If I what chop that hack? video, I know you made it for me. It's going insane right now. I got like 2 million overnight on that. Uh, 2 million guys, 2 million people wow. overnight this week. Okay. Anyways, um, if I take that video and I chop the video you gave me, and I put like the ending and the beginning. So four becomes one and two becomes, you know, if I chop, mix it up, that's a whole new video. So I can go viral again. Or if you make that, um, a video meme with the text on top or a GIF. Okay. Video meme. I'm going to, yeah. Add that. So, so you, okay. So you're saying ways to reuse a video are rechop it. I'm writing notes, sorry. Chop it and then make it into a video meme. Yes. Um, so let's say I have... Um, and you also have, said a GIF, right? Yes. Um, I had also like, a, you know, for another for other platforms, you can use these videos too. You make shorter video, use it for Instagram, you know. Um, what was I going to say? Okay, so I had the video of uh, water balloon games, right? And I cut it short and I made um, like a kind of like, I call them video memes. I mean, they could be like gifts, I think, video gifts. Yeah. Um, let me show you. Um, so it's a great way to re repurpose your content. Really, really great way. Yeah. There is that. <clears throat> Hold on. Um, I had it, I posted, okay, here, do you see it? It's coming up, uh, hold on, it's just the 13 seconds of the video, and, oh! <laughs> and using Filmora, I did the top uh, black parts and the bottom. Oh, awesome, I love okay, it. So and I'm planning to like, I have a few more quotes. I actually posted that first on Facebook and I asked for, cause I couldn't come up with any, any wording for that, any caption for that. So I asked my readers for ideas and I have like a ton of ideas uh, and I wrote them all down and I deleted posts for some reason, but I had a lot of ideas for, for the, for, the, for what to write on it. So it was amazing. And I have, I'm going to make more in the future. Well, honestly, our readers, when they say it, it tends to do better anyways, because it's in their language. So it, it takes off. Or that's what I found is that when I can speak their language, it tends to do a lot better than the stuff I come up with. <laughs> because even though I think of myself as I'm a mom who plays with my kids, or I'm a crock pot cooker, or, you know, even if I put myself into that shoes, I'm not actually them anymore because I'm now serving them, if that makes sense. So, um, yeah, putting yourself into their their position totally helps. Okay. <clears throat> Great. So you showed us so far, you've showed us the rule, some of the rules, five of the rules. You showed us your tools. You showed us how to get the photo, the back door into getting a cover photo. You've showed us how to make a cover. You've showed us, um, ways to reuse content. Next up on my list, my wish list with Baruch for this morning is gifts. Okay. Gifts are going bonkers right now, and why shouldn't we have our own gifts, kind of like our own inside joke for our readers of our audiences? I think that's a great idea. So tell me, how do you make a gift? Can you walk us through making that in, so we can all leave this conversation and say, okay, we can all make a gift now. 
Okay. Um, it's actually, there are a few ways, the way I think about it, there are a few ways to make them and because there are a few kinds of them. And like we just talked, there's like a, a video gift, kind of like the moving one. So mm -hmm. and you could, where you make a gift from the video that you have, or you can make a gift from the pictures. Okay. Whatever you have, if you have a video, and even if you have a video and you want to make um, a gift from the pictures, you can just, you know, like with Filmora screenshot the uh, the shots you want to put in the GIF and then upload them to the GIF Maker program. Now, can you screen share in Filmora? I can screenshot. Yes, you can screenshot. You want me to show you? Yes, please. Sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. She's making, she's showing you all the things I want to learn. <laughs> I'm like, because I have to do a course, I have to redo parts of the course and I have to screen share for that. So using Filmora for that means I can get rid of Camtasia. Okay, so uh, do you see my screen? I do see your screen right now. So right here under the video, there's like three buttons, the microphone and the little camera. Okay. And then you click on it and it's, that's it. The snapshot, it has been saved to the media library. You either have it here in your media library here. Here's the screenshot here. Okay, now does it do a screenshot of your compu your other computer? So like here I'm on my computer editing my video and then I'm like, oh yeah, I wanna do this. And so I can grab a screenshot over here. Um, I'm sorry, I have multiple screens. I, it's the rest of you. There's a screen, a computer screen here and a computer screen here. <laughs> no, well, no, I don't, I'm not sure what you mean, but I don't think that you can do that. Okay. You can do, you can, Where I can videotape what I'm doing on my screen. No, you can't do that. Okay. You have to use different program, but you can ah. use like, like for a blog post, it's awesome because like, oh, I forgot to take a picture, you know, like that I need. And then you can just uh, click and it's screenshot is saved and you can do whatever you want with it. Later. Cool. 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 Okay. Still pretty cool. Okay. Don't, go, so... don't throw out Camtasia yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So there's two ways to make your gifts. Um, if you want to make with photos, I use... Um, let me find it where I have it. I use, I don't know if it's the best one really, because uh, I don't do too many of them, but I, I've made a few times and I love it. It's giftmaker.me. Um, I can screenshot that. Okay. One. Okay, so I'm on there right now. And I just go and where is my photos? And I don't know, I can choose any photos. These are just random photos. I don't want to look for them right now. And it uploads them and then you can adjust the size, the animation speed, and create a GIF. GIF. That's it. It's okay. <clears throat> so let's see it in action. Okay, it's still uploading. I think my internet is quite slow for, for this thing right now. Oh, and you know what? We're online too. We're, we're doing Zoom. So <clears throat> that probably adds to the thing. So that's one way. And now the other yeah. way you said is from video. So what do you mean by making it from video? Okay, and then that one also, you can do it two ways. You can do it with Filmora. Um, How do you do it with Filmora? Which is, okay, I will show you. One second, let me share it out. Okay, so I'll show you how I did the one that I had on my Facebook. Now, do we have to have our video covers be a certain length, or can I put GIFs up there of the covers? Do you know? Say it again. Do you think, does the video cover have to be a certain length, or can it be a GIF for a cover? Um, it has to be a certain length. It has to be at least 20 seconds. And okay. To, I'm, a, I'm not sure, maybe to 90 seconds, but I know it's at least 20 seconds. Okay. So I tried one. I tried one where, you know, I just, whatever I did on there, it was just a picture and I had like animation words come in. Mm -hmm. It's a very easy way to do and it. And it never took off. Stop. Okay. No. Cool. Okay. So 
this is the video we on and we want to uh, okay, let's delete this. Okay, so if you want if you want these black or white um, things on your video gif you have them just pick any text um, okay. option you want basically anything because I edit it anyway out and place it there under I click on it click advanced and then here right on top there's uh, you can add text more you can add a shape and here that's where I add shape and I position whatever I want and I can change its color can take the border out or shadow out or whatever and it's it's right there and then I can just put text on top it's hiding under because this I have to pull this up on top here and then the same thing I can do in the bottom also cool. and then I mean now it's not square we'll make it square later but um, and then you add another text and then it's right there as well cool and then you and mean then, square yeah. like you did with the cover photo right <clears throat> yes I can show you now how because um, a lot of people they like making square videos and then actually there's still more you can you can do square video which is awesome uh, so let's say let's go in and click no, not click um, just go to uh, crop it again let's crop the video manually and um, I do 1080 by 1080 okay and it's crop and it's crop and you just like drag it to position which way you want it to be cool and See, like text, everything laid out. And then when you export it, it's important uh, on the settings. This time, like for sure, you have to like also. Oh, so you have to update it also in the settings. Yes, because otherwise you'll have these um, black things on Facebook, okay. like on the sides, on top, like <clears throat> fitting perfectly, perfectly. And then that's it. And it will export you um, um, the new GIF. Yeah. Now, when you make it a GIF, you want it to be really fast though, right? Yes. Uh, so I would suggest, I guess, I don't know, four seconds, maybe. This okay. It's like uh, um, 11 That's, seconds. Does it a report record as a GIF or does it report as an MP4? MP4, this one from the Filmora. Okay. But there's another website where I use and um, it kind of, it has different formats. Um, I can't tell you right now. And so you export it into there and then it makes it into the GIF format. Yes, but for me personally, like, I don't know, this is my audience is different. For me personally, I've tried both. I've tried the, the, um, the GIF with Filmora as the video MP4 format, and I tried the one with, you know, all these uh, GIF making programs, the other ones with other formats, and they didn't do well for me. Maybe it's just oh. my stuff. For me, the video, because for me, the videos do well. Any video do well. So okay. because the Facebook screen it's a video, it did well for me. Than MP4. The MP4. Ones. So making the GIF MP4s tends to do really well for that. Awesome. Good to know. Yeah. Okay. Cool. This is fun. Uh, and if you want, I can show you one more. The other one. Yeah. It's do. Quite, it's quite cool tool. Let me show you where is that. It's called um, Gip, Gip, Gippy. 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 Yeah. P H Y event. Um, I'm just going to share that one. Connie wants to know while we're looking, um, how often do you change your video cover? Um, I just posted it this week for the first time, and but I will be changing quite a lot. So just because um, I want to experiment. And, <clears throat> now, just so that the rest of you know, for me, once I find a cover that converts and converts people to automatically like my page, I stick with it forever. Yeah. So um, just something for you guys to think, once you get it where it reads your bump, reader's bumper sticker and it's pulling them in and they're saying, yes, this is my page, you might want to just test it to find a winner, you know, keep testing to find a winner. But once you've got a winner, <laughs> that's the one you're going to stick with until it's no longer winning. So until people exactly. aren't responding to invites to your page. Exactly. And I suggest... Mine, the, well, the current one I uploaded, it's long because I just, I, I uploaded it, I didn't want to play with it anymore until this video, but 
I will play with it. I will make it a lot more shorter. I'll make it just 20, 22 seconds, just barely to make it because I don't want it too long. Uh, yeah. And really talk to your avatar, whatever you're doing. Okay. Yeah. And like I said, if you don't have a video yet, or if you don't want to post the video, it's a really awesome way to just, you know, on Filmora, just add a video, uh, add a photo uh, after you crop it out and then just add like texts pop up. You know, you can have that there animated like that. And that will be a video. And that can, in a few words, you can just have activities, games, family time, you know, whatever. Pop and that's a good sure. way for you to have, for some of us that have lots of text that we want to say, on our covers, like we want to say such and such by so and so covering these three things. And we've always said, hey, you guys got to take words off of your cover. You can't have that much wording. Well, this is a way that you could have all that wording on there because it you've got one second with your three word bumper sticker, another second with your who it's by, your blog name or whatever, and then another second with all your tagline stuff. So good thinking. Exactly. Um, so here we are. Do you see the the B? Um, oh, okay, this is where you take the video and you translate it into GIFs. Yeah, so this one, um, uh, let me see now, how can I move this one? And like I would drag the video on top of it. Uh huh. Um, it will load. And then um, I add the caption, I don't know, when Monday, let's say. It's you, right? And it's kind of like it has everything in there already. And you can change the text colors and the font colors, you know, like the yeah. really goofy and meme kind of. Um, you can either add tags and sources and whatnot. And also you can have like a start time and duration and all that. Love it. Okay. So this one is like quite quick and uh, automated as well. And uh, let me see once you um, it's grading right now but I would have to see to make sure exactly what um, what um, I'm not sure I don't think it's mp4 what thing exports to now that's interesting though guys look at it you can grab from vi videos on YouTube Vimeo so this you might want to check for permission but for creative licensing, you can usually grab a second or two seconds from public content for yeah. entertainment purposes. So check with your lawyer before you say, Rachel says this and I'm going to go steal everybody's video. But you're <laughs> legally, I believe, you're allowed to take so many seconds of something for, um, that's for um, entertainment purposes. So, <clears throat> And yes, and... That's why you see all these celebrities uh, on the memes and gifts, you know, with these words and stuff. And they're really short because probably they just took it like that, right? Yeah, you can only take yeah, like yeah, two seconds or it has to be less than whatever percentage. So if it's only an eight second long clip, you can't take two seconds. So it's one, that's one thing to know too. There is okay. in the legal thing, there is some like so many seconds or this percentage and whichever is shorter. Okay, yeah, that's a good idea. And also look at how many footage you have of the video. Like I could make out of that video, I could make like five different tips. You need to come up with the text of it. You know, it's just all you need is just a few seconds for it. You really study your old content, the good content. And there's so much you can make out of it, really. Yeah, yeah. I have a, 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 a girl who's her whole job is making memes and gifts for me. So I mean, memes, but now I can have her also making gifts. But her job, because she's snarky, and she said she needed a job, and, and she's really snarky. I'm like, well, you're, you're kind of dip. You don't write well in paragraphs, but you know what you're really good at <laughs> is these, like, fast quips. <laughs> so she cranks That's up. That's really good. You no, know, she cranks them out like mad. It's hilarious. So, yeah, she just she got all the comments. It's hilarious. Yeah, she's great at it. So, um, yeah. We all need to hire, hire one of her. I'm not going to tell you her name because she's mine. <laughs> I might have one as well. I might have one as well. It's my relative, but she's like, I just typed her to and I'm like, I can't come up because I'm really bad with it. Oh. And she's like, five solutions in five Like seconds. I mean, like, it takes like, like, she's like, well, da 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 ba, da 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 ba. <laughs> I'm like, where do you come up with this? <laughs> oh, it's easy. I do this for fun. You don't have to pay me. I'm like, no, I'm paying you because this is awesome. <laughs> I want you to stay. <laughs> yeah, I want you to stay. <laughs> I'll pay you a lobster dinner. No, not that often, but <laughs> anyways, yeah. Okay, Christy says this was helpful. Mm -hmm. Yahoo. Um, 
Jamie says you can record your desktop screen in um, Filmora by checking on the record screen. Jamie, I'm going to have to play with that because it'd be nice for me to get rid of Camtasia or just to use one system. So thank you. Um, video cover has to be an MP4 format. Yes, mm -hmm. not GIF. Um, and this oh, yes. is Barut. And it looks like you're frozen, Barut. Are you still with us? I'm here. Okay, what's up? Um, can you see me? I can see you now. Yeah, you're good. I'm sorry. Yes. I'm sorry. Yes, you can actually. I, I just totally forgot. Yes, there's that microphone button less, uh, right next to the um, the camera thing where you do the <laughs> snapshot, snapshot. Oh, cool. There is. Yes, you can. Yeah. Yahoo! Okay, do you guys have any last questions for Barut? Um, she has made tons of viral videos. She showed you the one that's going viral right now on her page. She made the one that's going viral on my page right now The um, that I got 2 million clicks on in overnight um, from that video. It was so weird. It was like, so weird to see that video like a year later when my daughter is now a year older. I know. How little she was. I know, she was so cute. <laughs> so yeah, she made that video and then it, it took off again, which is really fun to see. And now that's another thing too, guys. The power of a viral video is not a one-time thing. These videos, both the Baruch's video that's going viral right now and the one on my page that's going viral, she repurposed an old video to get it back up there. And mine, the same video from before, it just started getting a lot of traction. So I was like, whoa, there's all these people are coming back to my Facebook page now. Why are they coming back? Nothing on my current site that's newest is causing these eyeballs. So what's causing it? And I found out that it's that post from a year ago. So it makes sense that it did well last year. It should do well this year, this time of year. So anyways, it's just something to know that these, this content is not like a do it once and you're done forever. This content can come back again and again and again. And my guess is next year around this time, the baby hacks is going to go crazy again too. So really kind of cool. Okay. Any other questions real fast before um, we head off for the day? Thank you so much for your time, Barut. This is so much fun. And it's always fun to see you and talk to you. Um, uh, this is my gift. Thank you so much. I love it. You're, you're, you're a gift to us. Does she give classes? She's going to because I'm, I'm begging her. I'm like, Barut, you are so good at videos. You've got to teach people how to do video. You've got to. Like the editing of videos. Like not just the like how to take a video, but the editing. That's the part that for me... I can't make look fancy, if that makes sense. I hack it and it just looks like I've hacked it. So I would love for her to teach us how to do that. And Cher wants to know, would you I, recommend watermarking your gifts? Um, would you? I, I, yeah. Would you Did recommend? Watermarking your gifts? Mm -hmm. uh, I wouldn't because I I don't like watermarking anything very much. But um, so so that's my. But what would you do? Would you watermark them for branding? Uh, I usually do. I think, but it's really a personal personal thing. I think it doesn't really um, affect it. I think I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Now the next one is your class. Uh, is there any clue as to when it might be coming? Oh, okay. Well, I just actually before this video, I. Um, I sit down and I set up a Facebook group where I'm just gonna, you know, like I gather people who want to geek out about the videos and editing and all that kind of stuff. So can I post the link to oh, that? Yeah, group? Yeah. It's zero members now. Zero members now. Well, okay, I'll so be here first. Because <laughs> <laughs> I do have people like messaging me and like, how do you do that? How do you do that? So I like just keep messaging to everybody this and that. So I thought, you know, let's just have one group where everybody can, you know, see the, these answers and then come up with new ideas, get inspired, ask questions and all that. And share the tips that you find and the hacks. So yeah. yeah exactly. It's like, it's, uh, we're learning new things every day. You know, like I really don't know everything. I, I know very little, but it's just so amazing to learn from this thing from another. This thing's just awesome. Yeah, and um, I'll just so you know, things. she's used her videos to sell her courses, her book. She's had um, like book, ebook things. Um, she's used her videos to sell. So that's another thing that for a lot of us that are in here as stores, um, it's also helpful to see from uh, the mix between blogger, videographer, and seller. So she's able to kind of mix all those those niches together. So and, uh, okay, I'll mention one more thing that you kind of like taught me this about the video because the videos get a lot of um, 
you know, a lot of views on any page, I guess. They, they do so well. You, with ads, on Ads Manager, you can retarget all those people. They watched your video. Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh, Custom so audiences so from good. video are a lot of fun. Because you can send them. So let's say she made her version number one. Because of the way people interact with video, they don't mind watching version number two, even though it's almost the same video. So you can retarget the people from number one to show them version number two, which is the same content, and then retarget them and say, well, do you want to buy it? And by now, they've had so many interactions with you, they're more likely to buy it. That's how you guys all got into this class. <laughs> 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 I did that to you guys and it worked. <laughs> so, um, yeah, <laughs> for it's laughing. She knew I did that. Um, so, um, but yeah, we, yeah, it's fun. So anyways, okay. For, thank you for today. And, uh, we appreciate you and leave a link to send me the link to your Facebook group and I'll plug it in here and I'll be your first person to sign up. And, um, yeah, everybody harass her. So she comes up with this editing class for us. <laughs> Bye guys. Bye.